Terry Donahue is one of the most prolific head coaches in college football history. During his 20-year career as UCLA's head football coach, Donahue cemented his place in the record books. He is the winningest football coach in school history, has the most conference wins in the Pac-10, and also guided the Bruins to three Rose Bowl victories. But the journey of one of the most prestigious coaches in the country would not have happened had it not been for opportunities provided to him along the way, beginning back in the mid-60s when he arrived in Westwood. I walked on over at UCLA and was there for three years. Ended up being a two-year starter at defensive tackle. Had a wonderful career. Played for Tommy Prothrow, who took us to the Rose Bowl, and played for a, a coach named Bill Barnes, who was the first coach that invited me to come to UCLA as a walk-on. UCLA, for me, was a uh, that was the beginning of a very long love affair for a long time. When I graduated from UCLA, it was interesting because I went in to see Coach Prothrow and asked him if I could be a what they call a graduate assistant coach. And he said no. And it was one of the most devastating things uh, at that point in my life that I had faced. But he explained to me, he said, Terry, if you really, really want to be a good football coach, he said, you should go away from UCLA and then come back. And he said, when you come back, you'll be a much better and different coach. That was really, really sage advice. I went into the service, and I was in the service in the Air Force, and Pepper Rogers, who had been the offensive coordinator at UCLA when I was a player, he got the head coaching position at the University of Kansas. And I wrote him a series of letters from the Air Force trying to convince him to hire me. I made him an offer. I said, look, if you let me come back to Kansas, I'll work for nothing. And I'll prove to you that I'm worth having around. So I ended up in Kansas. And after one season, uh, I got the opportunity of a lifetime from Pepper Rogers to become a full varsity coach at the University of Kansas. And that's where my career started. I was there a total of four seasons. Pepper Rogers got the head coaching job at UCLA invited me to go with him. I mean, I was thrilled to come back home and, and return to UCLA, kind of like Tommy Prothrow had told me to do. So I came back with Pepper Rogers. He was the head coach for three seasons there. And then he left and went to Georgia Tech. And Dick Vermeil came in. And Dick Vermeil didn't know any of us on the staff. And Dick did one of the most unusual things that I've ever seen anybody do in coaching. He came in and hired a whole bunch of people that he didn't know. And very few people in the coaching profession would have had the confidence or the courage to do that, but Dick Vermeil did. We stayed two years with Dick, and then he got the Philadelphia Eagles job, and I convinced the athletic director, J.D. Morgan, at the time that he had lost three football coaches in six years. And I said, you know, J.D., if you hire me, I'll stay and build a program at UCLA in football. He took a chance that when I was 31 years old, and somehow decided to give me the job. I look back on it now in retrospect and he, he had to be out of his mind doing that. I don't know how he did that, but he did it and I fulfilled my promise to him too. I stayed a long time and, and built a good program. I go back and I look at the opportunity that Bill Barnes gave me, that Tommy Prothrow gave me, that Pepper Rogers gave me, and that Dick Vermeil gave me, and those people really shaped my life because of the opportunity that they laid out there and gave me to get a chance to get in the batter's box, if you will, and take a swing. <laughs> Fellas, welcome to the fourth annual California Showcase. Grateful for the opportunities that he was provided, Donahue recently established the California Showcase in an effort to pay it forward and provide future generations of football players an opportunity to succeed. I want to give everybody the same opportunity. When you meet a coach, you walk up to him and I say, Terry Donahue, UCLA, what do you say back? The California Showcase is a, is a one-day camp that we put on to try and help young people who want to go to college and want to participate in the great game of college football, who weren't recruited by the UCLA's, Notre Dame's, and the Alabama's of the world. And it's for kids that can play football and get an education, but are more apt to be successful at the Division II, Division III, and NAIA levels, which have great football programs, tremendous playoff systems, 
They have all kinds of quality coaches. And so it's a one day event that we put on to try and help kids go to college. We've had just over 500 players who have moved on from high school to Division II, three and NAIA programs. And they have acquired just over $13 million in financial aid in that four year period. The showcase has been a great experience, just seeing a lot of athletes and stuff that are just like me, don't have any offers, and you know, trying to get a good education and everything is great. This was probably the greatest experience I had. I didn't get accepted by D1s, but this is probably the best thing for a person who never got offers. It was a great experience, especially if you didn't get picked up, just come out and try your best. I think today was a great opportunity to bring a lot of talent throughout the state to one destination. Really for us as coaches, there's only so much time that you can get on the road and see every high school. So having one day uh, where it was showcased here was a great opportunity for us as a school to get a lot of exposure. Really, it's all about opportunity. I mean, opportunity is one of the most precious and important gifts of life. And as I reflect back on my life, it was all about someone who gave me an opportunity. And without those opportunities, my life would be very, very different. And so the California Showcase is all about that. There's going to be a lot of young people who were not going to get a chance to go to college or going to go to college. I know the impact that he had not only on me, which was tremendous, but of all the athletes that came through UCLA's program, and that has really continued with his work with the youth there in the Southern California area. And I'm proud to call Terry Donahue a friend. Uh, I have enormous respect for him as a, as a father and as a husband. And he's a special, special friend and someone that I think the world of. And coach, I hope that one day I can have the impact on so many young people the way that you have.